Howdy YouTube. I have here the HAK905. I don't know if that's the HAK905 or HAK, but I ordered this from Amazon for $55. And what caught my attention about this little guy was the um, LEDs. You can see the picture there. They look pretty bright. And I was curious if the um, actual drone would be quite as much fun as, as this looks like to fly, especially at night and in the dark. So, I'm going to open it up. Uh, it's got a pretty cool looking, uh, you know, little display here and a cover on the case. And I have to say, getting it out, that the drum itself is uh, pretty solid feeling. It's, it's um, got plastic uh, ducts all the way around the um, blades, which look like they're going to keep those blades very... Um, protected, bumping it into things. Um, it's fairly heavy for a drone of this size, which I like. And best of all, that um, I'm most excited about, is it actually uses the uh, same battery as, which is a 3.7 LiPo, um, I think it's a 30C, 500 milliamp hour uh, LiPo battery. It's the same battery that the SEMA X5C uses. And that's exciting because I have several SEMA X5Cs and lots and lots of these batteries. So I've already charged this one. Um, you do have to take a, uh, oh no, you don't have to take a screw out to get this battery out, which is nice. Uh, some of them you have to actually remove a screw to get the battery out of the case, but you don't in this case. But this is a freshly charged battery, which I um, put in a few minutes ago and went ahead and cut all the tape and everything so I didn't have to mess with that. Just uh, take a look at it. It's pretty cool looking. Each of the blades has, uh, or each of the propellers has three blades, which is a little bit unusual. Usually they have two. Um, it's got different colors for the front and back. I actually already flew this guy a little bit, and I realized that I thought this was the front. Wouldn't you say that looks like the front? But that's not the front. The front is actually the part with the cutout, and the back is uh, this little pointed part. So it's a little bit of a weird design that they have there. I already put a battery in the remote right here. Um, the remote's pretty standard for this kind of uh, quad. You know, right here is nothing. Right here, these little buttons are, are nothing. There's some trim switches right here. And I have to say there is a little red blinky LED that tells you if you're bound to your uh, controller, which is cool. It also does come with instructions, which really are some of the least instructive instructions I've seen, even from a Chinese drone, uh, and four spare props. So you got that there, and here's the instructions. And it does come with a little screwdriver, but I'm not sure where that is. So one of the things I was most curious about, because this guy is compatible with, uh, with a battery from uh, SEMA X5C, was if it would actually work with my SEMA X5C remote. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it bind with my, bound with my SEMA X5C remote, so um, I'm assuming the answer there is no, because I tried several times and it just wouldn't go. As a matter of fact, it was a little bit tricky to bind with, with this remote, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. So I put the battery in, I charged it. Um, actually, I grabbed one of my SEMA X5C batteries that was already charged, and I'm charging the other one. It does come with a little USB charger. So when you turn this guy on, you get these awesome lights. Then it goes from a fast blink to a slow blink. And then I'm going to turn this on. And this blinks fast. Actually, kind of slow. And that should stop blinking when it's bound. So I'm going to turn this up and down. OK, now it looks like it's bound. So like I said, Unintuitively, the curved part is the back, and the little part with the cutout down here is the front. So let's give it a little hover. Puts off quite a bit of wind, like any uh, little drone will do. Now it has three ranges. I'm going to show you. This top left button, it says speed. You push it once and it 
beeps twice, which means you're in the next speed. It defaults to the lowest speed, which gives you very little control. So this is uh, the second speed, which basically means that it tips a little bit more as you fly. And then if you push it again, it blinks three times, and that gives you the most tip and the most control. So I'll fly it now, and you can see it's, it's a lot more uh, agile as I fly it. The yaw on this thing is, whoop. And I'll tell you, so I was about to say the yaw on this thing is fairly slow, but I'm also gonna say I just bumped into a window and a chair, and because of these little prop guards that are built into it, uh, I was able to recover and keep flying. This is really great for indoor flying, and plus, look how cool that looks. So I'm gonna turn the lights off and uh, fly it out in the living room. Let's go take a look. So here it is, flying in my living room. And uh, it's nighttime, so it's fairly dark, but look how bright those LEDs are. I mean, that thing looks like something out of Tron or out of some sort of sci-fi movie. It is uh, pretty agile in the third mode, although I have to say it's not as agile as like the Tarantula, the one I reviewed last week. Um, but it, it, it does okay. In first mode, it barely moves at all. And so if you're flying it and you're like, why isn't it responding? Uh, I can tell you it's because you're in you're in beginner mode and it really does just doesn't respond very well. Second mode it does okay, but third mode one two three it really goes. Now I'm going to show you the the yaw rate here in third mode. It's not that fast, um, but it does do flips, and so I'm going to show you here. There was a flip. You, you hold down the, you push the upper right button and push it in a direction at the same time and that's when it flips. And if you have enough uh, altitude, it'll, it'll uh, do okay. Now both those times I kind of touched the ground for a second but it recovered. And again, what's really nice is if you bump into something, I'm going to go up here and bump into my wall, you can see that it, it does okay because the props are protected. One more flip. Oh, there was a good one. So if you just give it a little gas after the flip, it tends to hold out okay. Let's try a little bit. Don't hit my TV. There's a little bit of yaw. So the... Uh, the green is in the back and the blue is in the front, at least on the one I have. And again, it it looks like it's backwards. The uh, cutout part is the front and the curved part is the back. Two flips in a row. There we go. Check it out. So the Hack or HAK905 is a pretty cool little drone. Uh, like I said, it's got batteries that are compatible with the uh, SEMA X5C, which is pretty cool. Um, has three flight modes, three different speeds. It does do flips, and it's got these awesome LEDs and these awesome um, uh, prop guards, which really help protect you while you're flying inside. i definitely check it out as a beginner drone. It's got a big wow factor because of those LEDs. I mean, just look at look at how th these things look, um, even from the bottom or the top. They're They're really cool in the way they're integrated with the um, with the frame. Let me turn this light off. And you can see here just how bright they are. I mean, those things just really glow. It's a pretty cool little drone. Definitely worth checking out. You can get it on Amazon, like I said, 55 bucks. Uh, and the batteries are compatible with your SEMA X5Cs. So that means you can fly uh, both of them using the same batteries. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.